Hey guys, it is me, Hypersaric, and welcome back to Last Generate Survival. So, season 45 is about to end. We still have six more days, and the question is, will I have enough time to finish this season? And I have no idea, because we still need to reach the level 80, and the last 10, 20 levels are incredibly difficult. You need a lot of points. Like, for example, right now, to get from, to level up this level 68, we need to have 7,000 points. And yeah, at the very end, we can get here this blueprint for the Dragunov, plus we can get one more Dragunov into total i have already had three dragonovs i have recycled two of them i've gotten only one blueprint and uh, yeah i've also gotten another blueprint from level 80 from the previous season pass and i want to get one more blueprint so we still have six more days so that's what i'll try to do and we're gonna begin our adventure in grinding this season pass by clearing the transport hub i have already prepared we already have all the weapons ready so let's just hop on our chopper aka iron horse and <laughs> let's go to the transport hub Let's just do it. And hey, before we go there, I'd like to say welcome, welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream. Glad to see all of you here. And if you're watching this live stream after it's over, then smash the like button on the live stream. Check out the pinned comments and then and there you can find timestamps and you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker with those timestamps. So yeah, make sure to check them out. Give them a try. And uh, wait, did we get something else? Is that the... That's the John Cure event. Blech! I'm not going to that John Cure event. Literally, you're not going to force me. I'd rather, like, clear anything in this game than that... Uh, junkyard. Junkyard event is garbage. Like, absolutely garbage. Good morning, says Jerry. Welcome, Jerry. Welcome, welcome. For me, it's actually evening. It's 7 p.m. But hey, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. To those that have mornings, uh, good mornings to those, and good evenings to those that have evenings. Good afternoons to those that have afternoons. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Glad to see all of you here. Hopefully, you're having a fantastic day. Because, yeah, we're going to begin our live stream from a transport hub. And I still love the transport hub. In my opinion, it's one of the better uh, locations in the game. Again, maybe later on it'll become annoying. Maybe later on we will realize that it's not really that profitable. But as of right now, I'm still enjoying it. And somebody said, Sayak, drone. And, hey, I got the drone before the live stream began. I cleared this entire inventory and I got the drone. So now, once again, welcome to the transport hub. We're gonna clear this place. Probably should have brought a katana or something. I usually try not to use that many melee weapons because during live streams it's just better to clear that place as fast as possible and then we can clear more places, do more raids and do more stuff. But I do like to use my katanas against toxic spitter, uh, not toxic spitters, but acid melters. They're very easy to use katanas against. Okay, that's a lot of schmucks that came out of nowhere. Okay. Let's deal with these guys. Also brought some of these flare guns. You can get flare guns by opening up, like, what, blue crates or something. And, yeah, we do have a decent amount of flare guns. I think you can also get flare guns from whatever that place is called. Um, I forgot. The, the farm location, right? You can get some flare guns from the farm. And, yeah, I had some flare guns there. I, I already have a lot of flare guns. I mean, I've gotten some flare guns from the farm, some of, from the blue crates at PD. I think you can even get some flare guns from purple crates, maybe. In any case, I have a lot of those flare guns, so I thought, why not use them? Plus, I decided to bring some of these miniguns, because I still have some of them at the base. So I might as well just use these miniguns. Because they're just collecting dust at the base. And hey, let's open up another another chest. And I don't think I actually mentioned that, but the reason why I want to get that Dragunov, because hey, to those that have just joined, the goal is to progress as far as I can inside of the Season Pass, because I want to get this Dragunov. And the reason being is because, why not? I want to get that Dragunov. And that's pretty much it. That's the main reason. I just want that Dragunov. Because it's like a new weapon. It's still kind of like pointless as of right now. Because you can only repair them if you have your VIPs. But, I mean, I still want to get it. It's like new content and I want to have it. That's pretty much it. I just want to have it for the sake of having it. Even if it's not that useful. Oh, wow. These zombie officers are crazy. They hit hard and they heal hard. That's crazy. Before, they were a lot easier to kill. But after, like some sort of an update okay how about i dodge that there we go the dude's supposed to die die schmuck oh no i got hit i got hit in the face but that's okay the dude died the dude died and everything's fine so hey, once again welcome everybody i'm glad to see all of you here is it a live stream today Sykes says of course yes it is a little bit later live stream because guess what guys i can give you three tries why the live stream is later today and you won't guess it i went to a gym today for the first time in in a long time. It's pretty much Three it. Three raids today? Yo, Grim! Grim, Grim, thank you for the super set. Welcome, welcome to the stream, Grim. Hopefully having a great day. And maybe we will do three raids today, maybe. I mean, we're gonna do at least one raid, that's for sure. 
it depends what kind of tasks raiders give me because if they give me some sort of a like if i have to clear a third floor or the second floor in bunt craft i'm gonna do it because i need to progress inside of the season pass so it all depends but hey we're, we'll do at least one raid for sure i don't know about three can't promise anything but at least one uh that's yeah at least one we'll see bro went to the gym i know right I did! Oh my goodness, I was able to, 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 to dodge that. I mean, you know what's gonna happen soon? Oh my goodness, I didn't mean to get that other weapon. Okay, I'll probably wait until they spit at me. I'm gonna avoid this. I'll get that. Oh my goodness. Oh lord. Okay, let's just stay here. Okay, it's going to spit at me. And there we go, we're doing it, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing it. So I still didn't subscribe. Still didn't get the gym membership. I just went for the one day trial. As, uh, as, uh, for the past, again, nobody cares, but for the past, like, three weeks, four weeks, maybe, I was doing 9,000 steps. I was just walking outside in the morning, and today was kind of a bad weather, and I was like, what am I gonna do when it rains? So I was like, hey, I can just go to a gym, so I found a gym near me, and I checked it out. So, I don't know. That's it, that's my entire day. So that's why the live stream is a little bit later. Kinda. Yeah. Are you excited about the new weapon Molotov says Fernie95? First of all, guys, it's not really confirmed yet that the Molotov will ever come out. Maybe Molotov will come out. Maybe. It's not really confirmed yet. But I am excited for it. If it comes out, then I'm excited. If I had to give my own personal opinion, then I'd say we have a 70% chance, maybe 80% chance of that Molotov coming out. I think we have really high chances. We have high probability of that, of that Molotov coming out, so that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking about. Did you really go to the gym, buddy? Yes, I went on a treadmill and I did some pull-ups because I haven't done pull-ups in a long time. That's it, and then I just went home. Let's pop these toxic daughters, baby. They're gone. And cargo has a glitch. Wait, I, I didn't even know that. We have one of the better events in the game, the supply event that lasts for a week. So credits to the developers where credits uh, do. The supply event, it, it, it's awesome that it lasts for a week. Some of the events last only for two days or something, and this thing lasts for a week. It's amazing. So it's great. What location do you think Molotovs can be obtained? I have no idea when we'll where we can obtain those Molotovs. I don't have a slightest clue. I don't have a slightest clue. Can I get a chopper fork, please? Anyone advise? Uh, you can get chopper forks in a lot of places at Bunker Alpha, Yellow, and Red Crate, or at the farm location by opening up the blue crate. It's not guaranteed, but you should be able to find it there. And I've seen a lot of people in the comments. Well, a lot of people. At least I remember one comment, so I'm going to say a lot of people. Now, there we go. There's the second person asking about the chopper fork. I'm sure there was more than there were more than two people asking about that chopper fork. So I'm going to say a lot of people were asking me about that chopper fork. And it looks like now the chopper fork is the new gas tank. Because before, gas tank was more difficult to find than the chopper fork. But now it looks like you get the, uh, the gas tank faster than the chopper fork. Does that make any sense? Because myself, on my new free-to-play account, I struggled with the chopper fork. It's not- I mean, struggling would be a strong word as... All I had to do is clear Bunker Alpha twice and Motel like two, three times. And then I was able to get it, so it wasn't that difficult. But yeah, I had to get the chopper fork. The chopper fork was the last item needed for me to assemble the chopper. I get more chopper forks than gas tanks. I have no idea why, says Grim. I mean, gas tanks are still maybe more rare than the chopper fork. But it looks like you get a gas tank very early on now. And unless I, I'm just... Yeah, it probably is just RNG. It doesn't matter. How much damage does the Molotov do? Guys! I have to repeat it again. Molotov is not in the game. Stop it! And I have to be very careful when I talk about those kind of things because the, the the one of the most annoying things that happens is every time I'll talk about something here, there will be somebody from the chat 
joining Alliance Under Survival Discord and saying things that I've never said. Like, oh, Cyrix said this and that. And then somebody will respond. Don't listen to it. Cyrix is just an idiot, which I am an idiot, but I never said that. So guys, I never said anything about any Molotovs. Don't go around screaming that, hey, Cyrix said Molotovs are coming to the game. Maybe. My personal opinion, we have like maybe a 70% chance of these Molotovs coming to the game. Because uh, there was a sneak peek from the developers or something. There was like some sort of a poster and whatnot. I don't have that picture. I'll just add it probably here right now. Um, Molotov. There we go. Just a second, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show you what's up, what I'm talking about. Because more and more people are talking about these Molotovs. So I might as well just show you what I'm, where I pulled that information from. But again, it's not even confirmed that these Molotovs are coming to the game. We don't even know. It's just a speculation. Also, we are supposed to get some sort of a sneak peek because a few days ago, developers said that there will be a sneak peek and we still don't have it. So one day, maybe we'll get it. This week, we are supposed to get a sneak peek and it's already Thursday. Okay. So this is the image, ladies and gentlemen. I believe, wait, we're just going to crop it. See, guys, technologies. We can crop things. The future is now, old man. There you go. So, as you can see, guys, there are Molotovs standing near this lady on the box. And uh, the caption was something like, hey, one of the, the 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 artists added, like, some sneak peeks for future updates and whatnot. So, we don't really know what's coming out. Also, we can see in her shoe that there is a ticket. So, it's, like, a reference to the Forlorn Fair event. So, Forlorn Fair might be coming out. But also, there are cats. I doubt the cats are coming to the game. So, some of the things probably will not come to the game and some of the things will like also we have a pumpkin in the down left corner probably the the halloween event is near which would make sense but will we get cats in the game i doubt it like i think we have a maximum like probably three percent chance of cats coming to the game maybe even a ten percent chance i don't know i'm just pulling out these numbers literally out of out of out of a thin air out of the thin air so and we also had Molotovs there, so maybe Molotovs are coming. So if you hear people talking about Molotovs, that's where they're getting that information from. It's just a speculation. I think I have to emphasize that. But I do believe that we have a high chance of those Molotovs coming to the game, because why not? Maybe Molotovs will be available to get in the Halloween event, maybe. Maybe you are right, maybe. How do you get a drone? You have to assemble it. If you have any other tips and tricks. If you have any other questions, let me know. Psych, how do you get a chopper? You have to assemble your chopper. Like, how do I get guns? You have to pick up guns when you see them. There we go. A professional last dinner tips and tricks giver. That's me. Okay, we have that schmuck down there. How about I get this M16? We're gonna break it and then I'll deal with with this acid melter. My game keeps crashing lately, says Angerth Walker. Sorry, I just butchered your name there. And uh, that's sad. Hopefully, they'll fix those crashes. I wish they would change the biome of the regular zone sometimes. It would be nice to have some different scenery, says Grim. I agree. Actually, we had something like that already. Uh, they've added rain, thunder, I think winter, and, uh, and, 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 and like dust storms or something. We had that stuff. We had those weathers during the, the hunt event. And we still have that stuff during the hunt event. When there is like a hu the hunt event, you can see that the scenery is a little bit different. So we have those things, but I don't know why they don't use them more frequently. Oh, yikes. The dude's gonna spit at me. I hate that guy so much. That toxic darter. He's disgusting. Toxic darter can... I don't know what it can do, but I hate it. I hate it with passion. Oh my goodness. Look at this schmuck. Okay, there we go. The dude's dead. Oh my goodness. These Carrions will restore all of their health. Okay, so here, just stop. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. Then I can just dodge it. That's some um, probably going to... Okay. Go and attack me. Oh my goodness, they're too stupid, aren't they? Okay. Dude, fighting them with this shotgun is going to be pretty difficult. Why do they have to restore their health by 30? It's stupid. Oh my goodness, the game just lagged. 
I didn't mean to pop that parasite. I didn't mean to shoot another parasite. Okay, go on, attack me. Oh my goodness. Oh lord. Oh lord, it's gonna take forever to fight them with this shotgun. Finally, one of them is dead. And all we have to do is just deal with one more carrion. Okay. We've done some wall tricking. There we go, we did it. Kind of a truck trick then. It's not a wall trick because there was a truck. So it's some sort of a truck trick. I wish they would make the zones more like the ones in the Westland Survival. They're much nicer. I haven't played Westland Survival in in years. So I don't really know what's with the zones in Westland Survival. So I'm sorry I can't really comment on that. But I'm going to believe you that, hey. The zones in Westland Survival are awesome. To be honest, we haven't gotten any like zone updates in Lies and Earthfall since the very beginning. So there's that. I actually really dislike the shotgun in this game. Shotguns, says Grim. Yeah, the normal shotgun is fine. Against the blind one. But I see why would one not like shotguns. But I kind of like them. They're fine. I don't have a problem with them. I hope they don't remove the wall trick for Alf. I mean, they shouldn't. But we never know. Okay, we're not gonna do this. Is somebody coming after the season pass is finished to Scarlow? I don't have a slightest clue when... Uh, we're gonna get a new update. Like, don't have a slightest clue. We don't know anything yet. We don't even have a sneak peek or anything. But in one of the Q&As, developers said that they are aiming to release at least one update a month. And it's already 20th, uh, 21st of uh, September. When it's October. It's 21st of September. So, I mean, what, we have nine more days for the next update? And we haven't gotten any sneak peeks yet. So, I don't know. But maybe it will come out. Maybe. I only use them for the blind one and nothing else is grim. Uh, the shotguns, you mean. Yeah. Shotguns are fine. I mean, I don't have a problem with them. It's not like you also get a lot of shotguns. But yeah, shotguns are not bad. Shotguns are totally not bad. They do get my approval. Wrong button says risk. Yep. Am I the only one who... I, I thought I clicked on it, but it didn't work. Am I the only one who keeps misclicking? Every time I misclick it, I always ask that question. So, yeah. Let's skedaddle. It's like, what are your PC specs? <sighs> I get that question quite often, and I used to have them in the comments, in the in the description. But once in a while, somebody would join, and uh, and uh, somebody in the chat would comment on those specs, being like, "Oh, psych, why don't you buy this? Psych, why don't you buy that? Why don't you buy a better processor? Why don't you change your graphics card?" And those people are so annoying that that's why I removed those specs. Because there will always be a person saying something should be different with the PC specs. They have no clue what they're talking about. They've seen one, one PC building guide video. And they keep spreading their, their crappy comments. And it's just annoying. So it was easier to just remove that and that's it. As it doesn't really matter what kind of PC specs I have. We are playing here last on Earth, kinda, and that's it. So yeah, there's that. Hopefully that answers the question. But my PC specs haven't really changed much since the last time I kind of probably had them, uh, had them in the description. In any case, we can kill the minor boss with melee weapons with wall trick, I guess. I mean, if hopefully we don't get the minor boss as that dude is very annoying. I really don't like that boss, kind of silly. Do you recommend using the engine blueprint for the saw blade? I just got it today. I mean, sure, it's one of the better blueprints. So I, I suggested using that. What is the video title? It's about me trying to beat the season pass. Will I have enough time to beat the season pass? Because there are still six more days left and I'm on level like what? I'm not even level 70 yet. Oh, and maybe today we'll get another Rottweiler puppy, which doesn't really matter, but I already have one. And if this is going to be level 4 one, then we're going to breed them. If this is the right puppy. Oh my goodness, there's so many variables. You have to have the two right gender puppies. Only then you can breed them. And I don't even know what kind of puppy I already have there. Unbelievable. 
<sighs> That's all I have to say. Just... <sighs> How about I get a different armor? Because this armor is about to break. And guess what? It ain't cool. I'm gonna get something from the inbox before we fight any bosses here. I mean, for the miner, it would be better to have sweat boots, but I have this tactical set, so I'm just gonna use the tactical set. It'll be fine. It'll be okay. No crossbreeding? No, you cannot breed Rottweilers with with Shepherds here. Can I play this game on 4 gig RAM lap laptop with i3 processor? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, the saw blade mace. Maybe I'll bring it back to the base. Hmm. I mean, I'll take it with me. Why not? We'll see. Wait, maybe I'm gonna bring some gunpowder as well. We are running out of space. I need to bring the. I need to break this weapon. Oh lord, whatever. Maybe I'll. I want to get the gunpowder instead of gun oil. Probably. There we go. That's better. Gas cylinder should be stack stackable. Says Quasim. Yeah, there are fuel. Yeah, they should be stackable. Oh uh, no, they're the worst boss in the game. Has struck again. Has struck him. The worst boss in the game has struck him. Okay. Okay, I stay here. Okay. Dude, the shotgun is so goopy against the boss. The shotgun is unbelievable. How about I break my... Oh my goodness! No! That's not what I meant. I want to break my shotty first. Because it is already almost broken. Okay. I just have to be very careful. Just have to like stop breathing here for a moment and we should be able to deal with this dude. Okay. The shotgun is about a... Maybe I'll use that shotgun, but it's kind of more difficult to use the shotgun on this dude. Okay, I'll wait until he does this attack. And yeah, I'm just gonna take my time fighting this boss here. I'm not gonna rush. Because whenever you rush the this boss here, it's... You always have problems. He'll like start moving. You'll start getting hit in the face. So it's just better to wait for your moment and that's it. Okay, I'll wait until he does that special attack again. Hello? Okay. Look at this! He moved! He moved! What did I do to deserve this? And now bro is closer to me. So I have to be careful. Okay. Okay. We could fight him with melee weapons, right? But I mean, that takes a lot of patience. And you gotta be precise with it. And the miner always wants to not be wall tricked. The dude moved again. I'm gonna probably die because I have only 30 health. I knew it. I, I, and I kept spamming the health. You might be like, I didn't heal. I kept spamming all of my buttons there. I didn't have full health, and when that happens, you're just gonna die. Huh? That's all I have to say. Miner always moves at 2,500 health and 1,500 health, health says Alpha Join. Wow, that's actually huge. Thanks for the info. I'll see if that's true. Uh, I'll have to go and get back my armor and maybe another Genesis gun. I'll get another one of these. Let's go. Yikes. The miner moves when his HP reaches 1,500 and 2,500. That's when he changes state. You can bypass it, says Dimitris. You can bypass it. You mean... Bypass it how? What does one have to do to bypass that? The heal button is delayed. It died so many times, says MM. Yeah, when he stuns you, like, I, I knew that I'm gonna die. Because I 
don't think I had full, full health. I had like, what, 90 health or something. He damaged me and I saw that I have 30 health after that and I knew that he was going to kill me. Because even with full health, I almost, I can barely survive there. And I didn't get the drone. Actually, we don't need the drone anymore, guys. We have already opened up four crates, so luckily we don't need the drone anymore. Uh, you can bop acid by letting him do an action and lower his HP below 1,500 at that exact point, says Dimitris. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. Okay, we're going to try to do that then. Thanks for the tips and tricks. We will see. How about we get bandages? Huh? And more go... Oh my goodness, we always click some sort of a wrong button. I'll get this, I'll get that. And let's say I'm ready to go and fight that boss again. We'll try to wall trick it and then at 2500 health, the dude's gonna move. That's the third minor boss in a row. Yep. It do be like that. Okay, where is the dude? Okay, the dude is here. How about I... Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have bandages. I just realized that. So how do I get him to wall trick? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, that works. Whoa! Did you see the guy tries to see when he can now wall trick me? Whoa! He keeps moving! That schmuck, I can't believe it. Did you see that? It looks like he got smarter. Did you see that? He keeps changing his position. Look at all of my health. It's gone at this point. Bro's gonna move. Okay, don't move. I can't. I, I don't even want to fight this dude. Like, it's not interesting. I really don't want to kill this guy. It's not, it's not fun. The guy just... The dude got smarter. He just keeps moving. All of my bandages are gone, dude. Spent so many bandages. I don't like that. I, I really don't like this boss. I don't even want to. I don't even want to fight it anymore. The dude always tries to stun me. Maybe it's just easier to shoot him like this. That's it. Probably that'll be the... Without the wall trick. I did get stunned though. But that should be fine. Alright, that's not fine! I think we should be able to do it. When he gets close to me, I just don't have to run in a straight line. But we'll see. Hey, bro. Stop it. Dude, we need another one of these silly guns. My AK does almost no damage here. Oh my goodness! I got right into his trap! We should be able to survive, perhaps? I just need now better healing items. I only have 14 first aid kits, bruh. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're doing something, ladies and gentlemen. I have no idea what we're doing, but we're doing. We're doing something, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, you can kill him without the wall trick, apparently. Oh my goodness, the dude's gonna... Whoa! 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 He attacked me through the thing! Bro! What is your problem?
what the dude is doing. I don't even have a, I don't have an idea, but uh. Whoops, I wasn't able to dodge that. Gotta have full health. So yeah, when you fight this dude, have bandages, lots of them. And, uh, wow, had 19 health. But hey, everything was calculated. Ladies and gentlemen, somehow, somehow we did it. We destroyed this miner. And uh, we did it. We, we did. Bro became dumb them again. Yes, indeed. The miner here lost a few AQ uh, points. Well, in any case, we did it. We destroyed that schmuck. Whew. Now we can open up that crate. Let's first of all deal with these bloodthirsty pests. So yeah, if you have like, I don't know, a few stacks of bandages, and if you keep, if you keep running around, you don't even have to use the wall trick. Which is, okay. Understandable, have a nice day. Let's put the cocoon to sleep. Maybe you can just explode if I get closer to it. Maybe I don't even have to fight it. Okay, you do have to fight it. Uh, do I have any other weapons? Nope. I'll keep breaking my minigun. Pull for the crates. I mean, I don't even know what crates we got there. But we will probably make a pull here. For those who don't know, Psych, what is this chest from? This chest is from old... Uh, no, actually, even the current Sector 7 has these chests. Another Sector 7 with the crater. You got the point. We've got a shotgun, a broken katana. And some of the inhalers. Okay. Why do they still keep giving that? I don't get it. Like... Inside of this crate, we've gotten robber parts. Really? Scrap metal, really? Like, do we really need scrap metal and more bolts? Like, sure, you need that, but at the point when you unlock the transport up, do you really need that stuff? Do you still need it? Like, who who takes that stuff? It's like, I take it. Okay. Okay. That's why we can't have nice things. Bloody scrap metal, which is kind of cool, you know? You can smell 50 scrap metal for like, what, 15 iron or 10 iron or something? You can get a decent amount of iron by smelting 50 scrap metal, but still. Unbelievable. Alright, so, we got here a few crates to open up. Probably I'm gonna go for the CYF crate. I don't think we'll even do a poll here. I'll do a poll, but again, it's not democracy. I want to open up the second crate, then we have the third and the fourth crate. I want to open up the second crate just because I haven't opened it up in a long time and I want to see how garbage it is. So, which crate to open up you can guys vote uh open up first second third or fourth again vote this there we go vote for the second guys it doesn't matter guys even if the third or the, or the fourth crate wins i'm not opening it up i'm gonna open up the second crate so guys just vote for the second crate so that we're all happy there we go that's what we're doing. Because I haven't opened up the second crate in a long time. And I just want to open up. I want to see what kind of trash loot we can get. Because I kept opening up third and fourth crate. For like the past like few live streams. And I just want to get this crate. And see what kind of goop loot we get here. So that I don't so that I don't want to open it up again in a, in a while. Okay. So 40% of you voted guys. For the second crate. Again. Maybe I would have opened up the fourth or the third crate, but you guys voted for the second crate. So I'm gonna open up the second crate. If the second crate is goop, it's your fault. You've got no one else to blame but yourselves. Again, you guys told me to open up the second crate. I'll open up the second crate. What can I say? You voted it. You voted for it. So let's open it up. Let's see what kind of goods we can get here. <laughs> And we got... Oh, we got four of these slates, which is... I guess it's goop. I guess it's fair to say that we got goop. I mean, four sawdust, ladies and gentlemen. Four! It stacks up to 50, if I'm not mistaken. We got only four of it? I'm glad that developers don't give us too much sawdust. That would be, like, seriously game-breaking. Four is... Uh, treading the line. Treading the edge. Like, barely. It's almost too much. Too many. If we had gotten, like, four sawdust pieces, it would have been too much. Four is just plenty. I'm glad that the devs are careful with the amount of loot they give us. Because they can easily give us too much. Unbelievable. So, it's a pretty goop crate, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pretty goop crate. Now I know that probably I'd rather open up the third or the second crate. 
They don't want to spoil uh, spoil us, says Pink Lady. Exactly. They don't want to spoil us. They don't want to break the game. Because imagine giving us like 20 sodas or 50 sodas. That like that would be super game breaking. Bruh. We just had to use like three guns to kill the miner boss. Imagine giving us more items. Pfft. No, no, no. Okay, let's take these. We also got to get resin. I mean, we did get this gas cylinder, which is huge when you think about it. I mean, we have a lot of oak at the base. Um, I'm gonna just heat that. Oh my god, sake, oak! Would give everything for five oak! Okay, we have sand and other stuff. I don't need anything else from this crate. Whatever, let's skedaddle. It do be like that. So yeah, there should be a do uh, double loot that comes once a month and last a day. I don't understand what that means, but I agree with you. I, s I saw double loot in the comment and I agree. We need to get double the loot. Any plans to play Resident Evil 4 Remake? You mean the DLC, maybe? Hi, Kyrick. I hate the miner. I've been getting him nonstop for a few weeks now. Uh, Bella, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Angry face. <laughs> thank you for the super chat, and I absolutely agree. The minor boss is 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 a weird one. I absolutely agree with you. It is a weird boss. I don't like it. Because if you can fight it only using the wall trick, it's kind of stupid. Like, you should be able to fight it with other, other tricks and other stuff. But, yeah. So saying that the boss is balanced, Sorry, you can just wall trick, that's stupid. Because that's silly. You shouldn't just rely on one trick in the game. You can kill the boss using like what, maybe 60 bandages and just running around. But at that point, is it really worth it? At that point, it's not worth the loot. So if you can't kill that boss with other, other strategies, it's kind of a broken boss. Just because you can wall trick, it doesn't mean it's a good boss. So yeah, I agree. It's a good boss and I hate him. An insane welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Uh, now we have to find space to drop this uh, horrendous garbage. Um, this goes there. As best as go here. All right, okay, bricks. I wish we got ash planks instead of bricks. That'd be better. I would actually appreciate that more. All right, that stuff still fits. Um, The drone battery goes there. This goes here. Actually, we have sorted out the inventory a lot faster than I expected. Planks go there, there, and now we just have... Okay, this goes to the settlement. Okay, now we just got some goop left. Okay, we've almost sorted out the inventory. Not that bad, ladies and gentlemen. Totally not that bad. And how about the supply event? Okay, we are still not... We haven't even progressed that much. Wow. The transport up doesn't really give lots of points towards that supply event. We got almost nothing at all. Whoops. Let me get some of those gas cylinders. Like, holy, says Grim. Hey, buddy, you can come and get them. Feel free to get these gas cylinders. If there was a way to give away those gas cylinders, I would, like, literally give all of them away. Because why not? Right? Oh, my goodness. I don't have space for my goopy melee weapons. Um. I mean, where do I keep my katanas? Well, I have another empty chest where I store garbage, so that's what I'll do. Thanks, buddy. This is Grim. You're welcome, buddy. That is it. The inventory is sorted out. Wait, I want to get this and mine stay here. There we go. Now we need to go to the settlement real quick and drop off the loot that we have here. It's like, I already got the very rare cargo, not a flex. It's easy, says Patrick. Congrats on your very rare cargo. 
I got nine purple cards yesterday from the event. I <laughs> smell bullcrap. I think somebody's lying. And the saw blade maze, dude, where do I? Okay, I'll drop it here. This, and now we can go to the settlement. Except before we go to the settlement, we got some things to do. How about we replenish some of the workbenches there? I'm just gonna replenish them and that's it. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy because if... I have to replenish every workbench and restart everything, it'll take me like, I don't know, a while. We have raids to do. The settlement is not the priority here. There we go, let's travel there. Travel to the settlement, travel. The word travel. The settlement is just literally here. Are we gonna get more surrounded? Sastako sauce 84, perhaps? Perhaps, perhaps? Maybe there will be more surrounded. Oh. Goes here. Here, and these things can go here. I oh, mean, we're doing something. And the slates, where do we even keep the slates? I don't know. Well, I'll drop the slates. There, there we go. We did it, ladies and gents. We sorted out that stuff. Tell us about the suburbs. I mean, I don't know anything about the suburbs. Nobody knows nothing about the suburbs. We know nothing about the suburbs. So do I have enough sawdust now? Do I have 50 of it? I still don't have, I have only 49 sawdust. It's unbelievable. <sighs> well, that's it. Let's get that. Wait, I haven't gotten the daily loot. Let's get the daily loot. Get the daily loot so risky. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to get the daily loot. Let's collect this and let's skedaddle from this godforsaken place. But I don't want to stay in the settlement. What should not be taken from the extremely rare supply cargo event, says Nath. I mean, it's up to you. Literally, it's up to you. If you want some of the resources, get them. If you don't want the resources from the extremely rare cargo, then don't get them. Get what you need. You have three options most of the time. So... Yeah, let's drop this and the minigun that I'll recycle perhaps one day because it's broken. The settlement is so much missed potential, says Grim. Yes, indeed, but I hopefully we'll get like a duels update and maybe it'll be multiplayer and it'll be fun. Hopefully, perhaps. Wait, I want, I'm sure that the third floor is reset. If it's not reset, then we're just going to go for a raid like that. But if it is reset, then it is reset. We'll probably just blast it in normal mode. We're not going to go in hard mode. Unless you guys want me to clear the third floor in hard mode. I mean, in normal mode, we'll do the raid faster. In hard mode, it will be funnier. Maybe not funnier isn't the right word, but it'll be more fun. It's kind of weird. The word fun. Oh my god, Sayak and his linguistics. Yes, the, the word fun doesn't describe like... <laughs> It's just more fun, like more exciting, right? But when you say funnier, it'll be funnier. You imply that it'll make you laugh. And when you say it'll be more fun, you imply that it'll be more exciting. In any case, let's just get the first eight kits and let's go clear the bunker. So guys, should we clear the normal bunker? The third floor, should we kill in normal or hard, or hard mode? I'm just gonna make a poll. Hard mode or normal third floor? Hard third floor. Uh, normal third floor. So there we go, ladies and gents. Make sure to participate in the poll. Man's running out of first aid kits. Hey, buddy, we have enough first aid kits. We have first aid kits here. Oh my God, like, stop showing them. Every time somebody says something, I have to show them that I, I don't care, guys. I, yes, I am running out of first aid kits. 
Absolutely. Bro is running out of first aid kits. That's it. Because every time I'll show the first aid kits, then Sayak, you're flexing your first aid kits. I'm just showing them. I am doing my parts is insane. Thank you for voting. It's 50-50 in the chat. Guys, vote harder. Vote harder. Just do it. Wait, what am I taking? I'm not gonna recharge my bike with the ga with the electronic circuits. Stop flexing, big ounce. I didn't show anything, so I'm not flexing. I am running out of first aid kits. I am a peasant, yes. Oh my god, it's like, don't delete it. I deleted it, it's fine. Running out of first aid kits. Flashes a rack of first aid kits as Apollo. One of the racks. But yeah. 100% running out, says Grim. 100% running out, guys. We don't have enough guns and first aid kits. I've been running out of those first aid kits for years. A rest up event? Hey, do I go to the rest up event? Or do we go to Bunker Alpha? Hmm. I mean, it's a rest up event. Let's quickly clear it. Let's do it. Also, there is another epic event now. The, there's still the rest up event, but the rest up event one that has a lot of deer. Did you see? I didn't say deers. I said like an educated person, deer. So there is the rest up event with a lot of deer in it. And uh, now when those deer give three meat instead of one, you can get like, what, 30 meat per one run instead of 10, which is insane. This is the event that I'm talking about. This event is absolutely amazing. Okay, another bro was just sleeping while I murdered his brothers. Okay. They dropped nothing. Okay, let's loot their choppers. What do you think about Dying Light? It's an amazing game. Make sure to check out my Dying Light Let's Play to learn more about my opinion on it. Dying Light was awesome. I played Dying Light 1 and Dying Light 2 and uh, most of the DLCs. So there's that. Oh, we've got in a box. Okay, it looks like 58% uh, of you have voted for the uh, third f hard mode floor instead of the normal floor. So we're going to clear it in hard mode, I guess. Let's do it. He knows deer. I know deer. Yes, indeed. Sark has been running out of first aid kits before Kefir made last on Earth's Apollo. Pretty much it. The event that's behind the farm. Is it worth it? Behind the farm. This event. Oak clearing. To be honest, I've probably cleared that oak clearing event less than 10 times in my entire life in 6 years. It is worth it if... It is worth it if... What well, it's worth it if... If you don't have oak... But other than that, it's not that great. If you don't have access to these locations, if you have access to these, then this event isn't that great. At least that's my humble opinion on it. But again, I haven't cleared it that much, so I mean, I can't really say much about it. In any case, guys, now guess what we're going to get inside of this weapon crate. The winner will get absolutely nothing. Let's play a game. The winner gets nothing. Guess something and win nothing. That's the game. And also, guys, I need the password to Bunker Alpha. So I need both things, the answer to the thing and the password. I see one password in the chat, but I'm not sure if I trust Storm Sniper. Storm Sniper, you might be... Okay, I see more people giving the password. Unless it's the wrong password. I'm gonna trust you guys. If you have betrayed me. I don't know what I'll do. Okay, 09... 0198. Whoops. Oh, that worked. Thank you very much. And that's it. Now we can guess what's inside of this box. So... I'm also going to participate in this game. I want to win nothing. I will guess that it's a... Pipe. We got an M16, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yeah. I mean, I won nothing. But yeah, some of you won something. There are... Uh, some people in the chat. So, Urfan, Storm Sniper, N Nath, Dutia, Sam, Fuerza, Grim... Uh, Fern A95 and that's it. Those are the people that have guessed it. So congratulations to the names that I've just named. Congratulations on winning absolutely nothing. And uh, better luck 
next time to those that didn't guess correctly. There we go. Let's skedaddle now. It was an M16, buddy. Yes, indeed, it was an M16. How do you get the ATV wheels? You get them from zones, right? From Wait, no, 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 no. Now ATV wheels are only available at Bunker Bravo. They have removed the wheels from red zones. You can get ATV wheels from Bunker Bravo. Now, unless somebody can correct me in the chat, but I'm like 90% sure you get them from Bunker Bravo now. We can also get ATV wheels from raids. You can get a lot of wheels from raids if you get lucky, but if you don't get them from raids, then... Yeah. Will there be a sponsor today? No, we don't have any sponsors today. You guys are the sponsors. Thanks for watching. Welcome to the stream. Mom, I'm a sponsor. Let's deal with the fast biters and let's start the third floor. Please do the grenade trick. I don't do the grenade trick. Is the Leech Shutter best mod for Glock, says Anton, maybe. Perhaps. My nose is scratching today. That means I'll get punched in my nose. Do I deserve it? I don't know. Perhaps. Perhaps. Why do you not like the grenade trick? Uh, because I don't like the grenade trick, that's it. I don't like doing it. I have enough guns and by the time I like kill them with that grenade and other stuff, I just... I'd ki I'll kill these zombies probably faster with guns and that's it. Tactical backpack or purple card supply crate. I mean, it's up to you. If you don't have any tactical backpacks, then tactical backpack is better than the purple card. But if you have like three tactical backpacks or even two tactical backpacks, then a purple card is obviously better. And uh, Fernay95, thanks for being a member. Thanks for smashing the join button. Thanks for supporting the live stream. Thank you, thank you. And welcome to the stream, Fernay. Jindobre, welcome. Blind one today, says Patrick. Yeah, I mean, we are on the third floor, so we're probably going to kill the blind one. Why not? Why wouldn't we do this? Do you think they should keep adding updates or finish the ones they have already brought? I don't know. Yes, my answer is yes. To which part? Yes, Psych, I asked two questions. Yes. Don't do the blind one, you'll run out of med kits. Okay. I'll think about it. Thanks for the for the heads up though. Okay, let's put the French Giant to sleep before it can become the Lamborghini French Giant. It's like, are you going to play Resident Evil 4 DLC? Probably. I know it came out like what, today maybe? Yeah, I think it came out today. I still don't have it. And I know that it won't really perform well on the channel, but I still want to play it. So I will be probably playing it. There's like a 95% chance that I'll play it regardless. I just don't know when. Exactly. The sooner the better. Maybe I'll be crazy enough and I'll just beat it on a live stream. I don't think it's that long. Wait, how is... How long is uh, the DLC? Resident Evil 4 Remake DLC length. It's five to seven hours. Okay. So maybe it'll take two live streams or maybe just one live stream. I'll just do a longer live stream tomorrow. I'll just start earlier and I'll just beat the entire DLC in one sitting. Maybe that's what we'll do. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. 
Resident Evil DLCs aren't that good, says Arfin. Okay, I'm not gonna play it then because Arfin told me to not play it. Everybody say thanks to Arfin. Thanks, Arfin. I would disagree with you. I think Resident Evil 4 DLCs are pretty fine. Some games have better DLCs. But I wouldn't say that Resident Evil 4 DLCs are bad. By no means. I think they are alright. You didn't make spare armor. I, we don't need it. We'll have more in the inbox. So that's fine. Play Resident Evil 7. I've already played it on the channel, actually. Uh, quite a while ago. So... Make sure to check it out if you haven't yet. But quite a while ago, maybe like a year ago, two years ago. We've played most of the Resident Evil games. Besides the, the old ones. I played most of the remakes and all the newer Resident Evils. Okay, the blind one. Sleep, schmuck. 139 health left. Play Dead Space. Perhaps one day. Can't promise anything. I got a question. What is the game that you want to show on the channel, but you are sure it's not going to be doable or watched, says Dimitri. Uh, it's probably... I mean, probably Witcher 3. Like, if I could... I mean, again, a lot of people know Witcher 3. But if I could, I'd just be playing Witcher 3. It's an amazing game. But again, the, the point is, it's a very long game. Like, if I start playing it here on the channel, like, it'll be, like, probably 60 parts. I mean, I could make, like, two-hour episodes. It'll still take us 30 parts to beat it. So it's, like, an insanely long game. But I would play it. You could try... Nah, nobody's gonna watch 60 parts or 30 parts of Witcher 3. And obviously Gothic Remake when it comes out. I want to play Gothic Remake, but I'm not sure people will watch it. I'll maybe make one... I'll maybe make one episode on Gothic Remake or something and the rest I'll play off camera. Okay, Francis Giants dead. Beautiful. It's like, how do I get the blind one's head? It's random. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. Joe Gesser today, uh, maybe. Will we play The Last of Us? I've already played The Last of Us. I haven't played The Last of Us 2, but I have played The Last of Us 1. A phenomenal game. It's like some survival video tomorrow, maybe. There is no... For sure, 100%, there will be no Scum Survival video tomorrow because I don't have it ready. I don't even have recorded another episode. I have... I don't have another Scum Survival episode. There will be more Scum Survival. I just don't know exactly when. As I said, I still like Scum Survival. It's awesome, but the last bunker update, it was... It's amazing. But also, it's the main reason why I kind of don't want to play more Scum Survival. Because I have to go to that bunker. But I kind of really don't want to go there. But that's like the entire attraction. But like, I kind of don't want to go there. Does that make any sense? Like, I'm kind of forced to go into that bunker. But I don't want to go there. Because it's not that it's bad. It's just, I know that I'll die there. And what am I going to do next once I die? Like, that's it. So what's the point to go there and lose the loot? Like, it makes no sense. So I've been just debating with myself what we do next there. Go find a new wheel for your car. Uh, it's... I mean, don't I already have all the wheels? I mean, the car is fine. We can drive it even on three wheels, it's fine. We could find a new wheel in another town.
Can you open Flappy Crate today? I mean, it depends if we get enough items for the Flappy Crate. Yes, I'll open it up. If we don't get it, we don't get it. But sure. We might open it up. You haven't played for a while, the car could be gone, says DA. Actually, that's true. In the settings, the car despawns in like 40 days. Chances I might have not logged in in that time. So maybe the car is gone. That is actually a, a possibility. Maybe at the end of the live stream, I'll log in to scum. Maybe, but I'm pretty sure I've also changed the settings. I think I changed from 100 days to like 200 days or something. So maybe the car is still there. I don't know. But yeah, the car can't actually spawn in Scum Survival if you don't log in there in quite a while. So with Scum Survival. Scum Survival doesn't really perform that amazing on the channel anyways, so it's like... I'm not really into it right now. It's not, I, as I said, I don't really want to go into that bunker. So it's like I don't have any like reason to continue with it. It's not like a lot of people want me to continue with scum. And uh, yeah, but there will be more scum. I'm like 100% sure there will be more scum. There will be more last than earth and more scum on the channel. Those are the two guaranteed things that I can guarantee, but I just don't know when there will be more scum survival. Okay, let's get another one of these. How long can it take you to get the drone as a free-to-play player? I mean, it depends how fast you play the game. Cube Survival went, buddy. I don't even know if Cube Survival is still on Google Play Store. So, I don't know. Oh, well, my armor is going to pop. Any moment. I don't like that. Okay, I'm sure we have reached level 70. There we go. We have gotten this Rottweiler Poppy. This is great. Do you know the game Dishonored? I think I've heard of it, but I'm not sure what it's about. Is it a shooter game? Either a shooter or a strategy game. One of those two. Uh, I'm going to get another one of these. And how do I have seven tactical boots in my inbox? How did that happen? Wasn't Cube Survival Suit or something? Suit says, uh, Visity. Mm, I don't think so. Again, I don't know any details, but I wouldn't be surprised if Cube Survival was... Had like some ties to last dinner. Maybe they paid some fees or something. Did you play Battlebit? I've heard of Battlebit. It's like it's 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 a it's a shooter game, like COD style shooter game, a good one with low poly graphics. But I haven't played it. But I've heard everybody who played it they say that it's an amazing game. But I haven't played it myself. But at least we got this dude. I don't know why I got scared and I tried to run away from that explosion. Oh, and also Apple announced that Resident Evil 4 is coming to the the new iPhone. Because that's kind of cool. Finally have like a normal game on mobile. Oh my god, Tech, what is wrong with Last on Earth? Is it not a normal game? Okay. To have a PC game ported to mobile is kinda a story game. It's almost unheard of. So I'm kind of excited to see what's up. I'm running out of guns, dude! What am I going to do? I have this M16 that's absolutely broken. Dude, I had like two rows of guns and I used up all of them. Like. Excuse me, mister. USB-C on the new iPhone is funny. Yeah, I mean, the 
the USB, the iPhone 15 and probably iPhone 15 plus, they don't get the the USB C faster speeds. It's only get the they only get the USB 2.0. It is what it is. But the funnier thing, again, if we're talking about the phones now, if we're talking about Apple, the funnier thing is that still the newer, the newest iPhone, like iPhone 15, like how expensive is it? Like 800 dollars, 800 euros, or whatever. It's like ridiculously expensive, and it still comes with 60 hertz. Like it's just that just blows my mind. That's a scam of the year, if I may say so myself. Oh, we've gotten a C4. I'm gonna take it. Come to my pocket. So it's not about like the lower USB-C speeds and whatnot, because from what I know, they can't support it there, as the processor is doesn't support those capabilities or something. I don't know, but but not having 120 hertz in 2023 on an on an $800 phone is is a scam, is a robbery. It's an absolute robbery. And Cody Smith, thanks for the super chat. Will it continue contraband police, says Cody. Thanks for the super chat, thanks for the support of the channel. And I still have the contraband police. And it was a fun game. I just don't think people wanted me to continue with it, so that's why I never continued with it. Pro versions can't support them. That's their strategy. No, I mean, they can't support them. That's like, uh, that's why... Where was the bro going? Yeah. Obviously, they want people to buy the iPhone Pro, like 15 Pro instead of the, the 15 or 15 Plus. But like, still, you're paying $800. They're, say, they're selling an $800 phone that doesn't support 120 Hertz. Like, that's just insane. I guess their pro versions, they do support 120 hertz, but like the, the... Still, they're charging $800 or whatever, 900. I don't know how much they're charging for it. In any case, even if it's 600, it's still should have it. So there's that. But it, it is what it is. I have no say in it. I don't have an iPhone, so I don't really care. Oh my goodness, the dude's gonna pop because my stupid M16 wasn't modded and I knew that it will start missing. <sighs> my 300 quid phone has 120 hertz. That is Spogger is the 8. That is absolutely epic. That is Spogger's. There's also a video on YouTube where a guy uses... Uh, like I found either 12 Pro Max or 13 Pro Max or something and the dude compares it to other flagships the S23 Ultra or whichever one and the 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 Pixel and the iPhone overheats which I was kind of surprised the iPhone overheats a lot faster than the other phones in any case I don't even know why we started the topic about it it's like a lot of people care about this topic, but I... I thought it'll give you my five cents, in my opinion, on the whole... on all the things. Alright, let's get that. Let's open up the box. And let's see what kind of goods we can get. Another unmodded M16 and broken one. What? Please play Last Earth to see Jor's Barendas. I'll definitely think about it. Thanks for the super chat, see Jor's. It should appear on the stream very soon. But there we go, it appeared. And yeah, maybe I will consider I'll consider playing some Last Earth. I can promise that. But perhaps one day I'll play some Last Earth. Perhaps one day. Again, I can't promise that, so... Don't... Scream at me later on saying that I'll oh, take you promise. No, I did not promise I don't need anything else here. Let's skedaddle um, I think we've killed everybody. Yeah, yeah, we did so let's skedaddle from here. Oh, 
all the iPhones are the same. I've never seen a difference as on Janai. I mean, they do upgrade them. They last longer than Android phones. So I'm not saying that they're bad. But hey, let's drop these items to the dude. Okay, we're gonna get the floppy crate. So whoever asked if I can open up a floppy crate today, yes, I can. And to the person, I think it was uh, Grim, asked if we can do three raids today. I don't know, because we're opening up a floppy crate now. Raids are so far away from us. But hey, maybe we will do a raid. We'll see. It's like, can you tell me how to get guns, please, says Jack. Make sure to check out my free-to-play playlist. Link is down in the description or the long story short, ju short, just clear Bunker Alpha efficiently. And you'll be able to get a lot of guns from Bunker Alpha. Those are the ways of getting guns. You can also get guns by clearing the f the rest up event. It's pretty cheap. It's a bit software. Android gets up to two years updates only and Apple lasts longer, says Shake. I'm sure some Androids get maybe more updates. But, yeah. Samsung gets decent amount. Uh, Samsung phones last quite a while. Probably not as long as iPhones, but they still last for a while. Like, I had my A70 and I still got an update, like, quite recently. I don't know, maybe a year ago, half a year ago, and I've had that phone for a long time, so... In any case. How did you make the free-to-play account without deleting your main? You can just download... You can just start another emulator instance and you can have two accounts. He wasn't asking. He was telling, says Grim. Hey, buddy. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the super chat. So you were ordering me to do three raids, not, not asking me if I can do three raids. I see. I see, buddy. Name of the stream, Cyric versus iPhone. Every time I like, I'll say anything not related to last generate. Everybody will just flip out. If we start pizza live streams, food live streams, and now iPhone live streams. No one iPhone has lasted longer than six months before getting smashed or upgraded to the latest model, says DA. Ha, ha, that is very funny. Um, um, we can drop these things here. The coupons. Now people are debating which phones are better. Guys, every phone is amazing. Like, whatever phone you have there, it's the best phone in the world. Alright? Like, literally. Whichever phone you have now in your pocket, it's like the best phone. And you have it. Um, the blue thing, ah, whatever. We gotta go for a raid, ladies and gentlemen. Ain't nobody got enough time to open up those blue crates. Nokia gang, says Jeremy. That is kind of nuts. Okay, at least I do have some thick fabric here. Okay. I'm gonna grab the boots. I ran out of thick fabric. So if I get thick fabric, I'm gonna pick it up. I'll take it. He finally ran out of something, says Grim. <sighs> it do be like that. Okay, let's drop it here. And what else do I need to do? I need to craft five hatchets. Three, four, and five. How'd you get all that leather from deer? From raids? Oh, 
gonna get normal hatchets and we are ready to roll ladies and gentlemen that's it we just have to grab one more hatchet and let's skedaddle like what do you think about gta 5 i've played it and it's fun that's my entire opinion about it waiting for gta 6 maybe when gta 6 comes out maybe we'll even play it on the channel here maybe uh by the time it comes out we'll get the helicopter and last in it though Actually, no, it's, it's a joke. I'm, I do believe probably we'll get GTA 6 before the helicopter in the game. Um, we need the, the two blocks. Flip flop. So, are you waiting for GTA 6? I mean, yeah. I'm definitely keeping my eye on it. Um... Do I go to the raid with this broken armor? I don't think so. I'm gonna get the one that I've just crafted. Okay, let's eat some of the carrot, uh, some of these carrots, and I'm ready. But Karuz, okay, we also need to get a C4. Okay, we have it. Oh no, we already took two C4s. One C4 is enough. Let's go. I'm ready to buckle up. Let's go. GTA 6 is gonna blow normal PCs. It has high demand. I mean, it, it's not out yet, so we don't know. We know nothing. Uh, player 8338. That's the base that we are going to raid, ladies and gentlemen. So, buckle up, buckaroos. LDE raid player 8338. Let's see what this base is all about. Can we get lo good loot? Can we get goop loot? So many questions. And yet, no answers. Whoa! What, what? What? This base is insane. Your mind will be blown into tiny little smithereens. What music do you have playing? The Emperor's New Shoes. All the music is from the YouTube library. You get ads on live streams now, I uh, guess so. Without the ads, there would be no live streams. Like, I'm gonna be honest here right now. If there were no ads, there wouldn't be live streams. I wouldn't be able to live stream. Because the, most of the ads support the live streams. So there's that. But hey, all that stuff aside, let's go for the first raid of the day. Wait, I'm, I'm gonna drop the C4 here. Uh, let's drop it here. So we will be able to make the helicopter. I mean, I have no idea. Hopefully, perhaps one day. Oh, no. From all the boxes, I've opened up the wrong one. From all the doors, I mean. From all the walls. I've opened up the, the, the worst one possible. Are developers thinking of fixing the lag? I don't know what they're thinking. I'm not in their head. They don't live with, they don't live with me, so I don't know. How much do you earn from ads? Rough estimate. And more than one cent and less than a billion dollars. The answer is somewhere between there. Okay, let's pop the fast biters. Developers thanks to C Jars. Oof. Oof. I don't have a better one. I need to I need to get the horn, the MGL horn emo, you know, the doo -doo 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 or whatever it's called for the for a good comment whenever we get somebody that uh, when, whenever we get a comment that that's absolute fire developers think yes guys believe it or not developers sometimes think and i believe i don't know what i believe yeah the comment was good i forgot what i wanted to say Straight fire. Grim says fire, buddy. Yes, indeed. That was absolute fire. We got nothing from this raid. Absolutely nothing. 
Some people say zilch. We got zilch in this raid. Probably just butchered the word. In any case, let's get out. Psych. Uh, happy Psyrek. Hey Psyrek, you not try to play Humanity Z? Says Young. I've played Humanity Z over a year ago when it was just in beta, and there will be some Humanity Z. I wanted to play it now for. For like over a week now, I really wanted to play Humanity Z, and there will be some Humanity Z's, just that the schedule is not. is not there yet. There are always some other things that I'm doing, but there will be some Humanity Z. Yes. Because Humanity Z came out of beta or whatever. Maybe it's still in beta. I don't know. In any case, they have released it finally. It was just a demo, I guess. And now it's out. So there we go. Hi, Cyric. You live in Lithium, says Gath King. I'm sure you made that joke on purpose. And Asproutus, uh, love you so much. Thank you, mate. Thanks for the super chat. Welcome, welcome. To the stream. I'm glad that you're enjoying the live streams. Welcome, welcome, mate. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for the support of the channel. <laughs> Are you, do you live in lithium? <laughs> you mean Lithuania, not lithium. But okay, it's the same thing, guys. Lithuania, lithium. Who cares? Just a few letters missing, right? Uh, need to pay the raiders. Sodium, exactly. Sodium, lithium. Uh, seems true. You know, I could trust you. Skedaddle. So, yeah, guys, you see here, we paid them with just one spear. And it was fine. It's the same thing. Gets offended, says Grim. I am Lithuanian, and I didn't get offended. I do, perhaps, live in lithium. I mean, I, I, I am from Lithium. Uh, we gotta kill three bulls and... Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Let's clear the farm location, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it. One is a country, another one is a battery. I mean, Lithium is uh, is not battery. It's just it's a substance. However, batteries are made of... Of Lithium. But yeah. I see what you mean, DA. I mean, I can understand what you mean, even though the comment makes no sense, but I understand what you're trying to convey here. They're the same thing. One is, is a battery, another one is a country. Yes. I spoke with the devs. They will add the last material, says Asproudas. What kind of a material? And thanks for the super chat. And my brain is now working at 100% capacity. I already said that, but it's kind of, it's, it's weird. Every time somebody will ask where I'm from and how do you answer that? Like I'm from Lithuania, but like, I don't live currently in Lithuania now. So what do they mean by where I'm from? It's like, that's always a complicated question because I can't just answer with one word. Like, oh, I'm from, Fr I'm from Lithuania, but I live in France. Because if I say that I am from Lithuania, they're like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Where do you live now? Like, in what city? And I'm like, I'm not in Lithuania. So it is weird. And if I say that I live in France, they're like, oh, do you speak French? Like, blah, blah, blah. Why? They'll assume that I was born in France. In any case. That's four guns. That's way too many guns. What am I doing? We're going to the farm. We're going to the farm. We got to get ready. And Asproutus, thanks for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. And I don't know what kind of last material you mean. You said that you spoke with the devs and they will add the last material. I don't know what kind of material you're talking about, but yeah. Say Europe covers both countries, says the A. Oh, at that point, I might as well say planet Earth. Where are you from? I'm from planet Earth. Okay, that's better. And a... What else do I need to bring with me? Nothing else. Perhaps a melee weapon. There we go. That's it. I don't need anything else, ladies and gents. It's enough. The 
Let's go. So I can take a bow for the Revenger for the memes. I don't have a bow and I'm not going to use a bow in Revenger. Blech. I'm not going to dirty my hands with that. A bow. When do you start streaming on Twitch, says Danny. Excuse me. I don't stream on Twitch. I stream only on YouTube. Happy Psych Today's giveaway. I don't do giveaways. Did I go to the Floppy Cray event? No, I didn't go there yet. Okay, let's go to the Floppy Cray event. The reason about the giveaways, right? The giveaways always cause more issues than, than good things. Every time I've done a giveaway here on the channel, like a last in earth giveaway in collaboration with the devs, obviously. It's... Yeah, it always causes me issues. Then people will constantly DM me asking for more giveaways. When is the giveaways? And it attracts the the wrong crowds. I've literally seen people like, oh, I subscribed to Cyric. I subscribed to that idiot just to get the giveaway. As soon as it's it's over, I'll unsubscribe from him. Like, there are like these kind of pe people and I don't know. That's why I kind of don't do any giveaways. Which again, it doesn't make any sense. Just because somebody's stupid doesn't mean that other people have to suffer. But at the same time, like only there, there would be only five winners anyways. So, it is what it is. Let's get that. Let's get this. And I guess we can bring the stuff back to the base and then we can go to the farm. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do, ladies and gents. That's what we are gonna do. You mean I subscribed and there is no giveaway, says DA? Mm hmm. Which is also, there's another thing. I don't think I ever said that, but when I say mm hmm, mm hmm, and mm hmm, do you guys feel the difference? Do you understand what it means? I don't think I've ever had that topic with you. But there we go. When I say mm hmm, and I say mm hmm, when I say mm hmm, does it mean yes or no? Long story, it's gonna be hard to, to say it. I'm just gonna like go to the point. Like in France, when I say mm, mm my girlfriend always has trouble knowing what I mean. In France, it's like they, they use a different one for mm, mm That's what I mean. And it sounds very basic. So I guess in different countries they use different different sounds to say yes and no. It's like they, it's like they can figure out what I mean, but like in a sentence, and if I'll just say, mm -mm, they'll think that maybe I say yes. Does that make sense? Of course that makes sense. So that's very surprising. And Claudio Andrescu, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Same sounds, different accent, which does change the sound a bit, says Grim. Yep. I'm just saying that it's a bit weird. Like, it's very natural. It's like nodding your head, like, mm-hmm and mm-mm. It's like, it's very, it's like very natural. Like, those words, yeah. But they do sound different a little bit. And yeah, I find myself often clarifying with saying, mm-mm, I just mean no. That means no. It's like mostly a meme. I just mostly meme about it now. But still. Oh my goodness. Like, will I drop these things? I still have... Ha Why on earth do I have 2C... Oh, I got 2C4s from the raid there. Uh, This goes there. There and there. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We did it. Sykes says, mm-hmm, and French say, we, oui, we. Oui. No, they also say, mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm is easy to understand. I don't think they confuse the mm-hmm, but the mm-mm, it's, uh, is more confusing. In any case. Mains, 
uh, is done, forgot he just I opened the floppy crate. I spoke with devs about like Tungsten Bar, and they answered me they will add it soon in the game, so we'll able to go at C Bunker also make a video about C. Excuse me? Mr. Mr. Asproudas, thanks for the super chat. Thanks for the support on the live stream. And uh, that's great, I guess. Those are great news. I don't know if they're true. I don't know if they're not. But hey, great news. So yeah, shout out to you. Thanks for the super chat. And yeah. That is very, very epic. Do deliveries, says Abiram. I don't like deliveries because they take a long time to to do them. It takes forever and a little bit to do those deliveries. Soon means it may, may take many years in this game, says Risky. Also, that's true. Now somebody will join Discord and say, Psych told me that Titanium is coming soon. Guys, it didn't say anything about Titanium. It was just a person saying that they spoke with the devs and the Titanium is coming. I didn't say anything. When you guys say something that you've heard in the stream, don't say Cyric. Please, thank you. And uh, Lila Barrows, uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the, for becoming a member. Thank you for everything. Thanks for the support of the channel. Thank you, thank you. So it's another thing. That I already said it today during the live stream once. And I'll repeat it again. But sometimes people will hear something on the live stream and they'll join Discord and then they'll start saying things unimaginable and unheard things that I've never mentioned. Which again, it's not my job to... to be responsible for everything everyone says. But yeah, it's not cool. It's not very pleasant. I said occasionally I ch I'll check Discord and there'll be somebody saying stuff like, Oh, Sike told me this and that. And then I'm saying, I never said that. And then they'll say like, oh, don't trust Sayak on this. He's an idiot. And I'm like, I never even said anything like that. And yet here I am being called an idiot, which is fine. It's not like it's a lie. But you got the point. So there's that. If you hear something on the live stream, don't say that Sayak told you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sponsored Revenger Wall Tricks. No! Okay, we'll try to revenge the Wall Trick the Revengers. Just for you, Lila. We will do it. You've spoken that you have Wall Trick Revengers, and I believe that's that's a lie. I still think you're just pulling my leg. I still think you're lying, but we'll see. Whoops, there's nothing here in the box. No, he will spit on you, don't worry. He won't spit at me. I spit at him first. Sykes like said he loves toxic daughters, yeah. But there are like literally like weird things that I've never even said. Oh, Sykes said that this item is removed from the game. You can no longer get it. And I'm like, what? I never said anything like that. Like even remotely close to that. Where did you get that info from? <sighs> In any case, who cares, right? the most out of pocket things is grim okay <laughs> have you ever been to bunker delta nope bunker delta is not in the game it's like remember put batteries in your fridge no guys don't put batteries in your fridge don't do it don't put batteries in your fridge however who put, keeps bread in the in fridge in your refrigerators who keeps bread in their refrigerators i do Depends also on which bread. But I most of the time keep bread in the refrigerator. Because, like, the bread's gonna last longer in the refrigerator, probably. And it tastes better. Cold bread. Like, take. It depends on which bread. But, like, yeah. It tastes better. Like, cold bread. It's softer, it's cold, and it's better. Wait, I wanna keep bread not in the refrigerator. It's just silly. Actually, I'm going to make a poll right now. Uh, keep bread in the refrigerator or no. Uh, 
I don't know how to formulate the sentence. I'm like, keep the... I'm making a poll here right now where you keep the bread in the refrigerator. Uh, not in the refrigerator. There we go. That's, there we go, guys. We made a poll. Where do you keep your bread? In the refrigerator or not in the refrigerator? Said I'll wall trick this dude. Okay, we will do it. The dude will start sprinting. The dude will out sprint me, perhaps. Wall tricking the revenger only here, only right now, guys. Okay, how about I. Okay, I see why I would do a wall trick, but. Whoa! Whoa! The dude just teleported! The dude just glided! Well, we got him, anyways. And we did wall trick the revenger. Okay. We did it. Kill the bulls for the raider tasks. Okay, I don't even know what kind of tasks we gotta do, but okay, let's kill the bulls. Let's do it. Does the armor melt if you stand on the spit? Probably. No, it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. I don't know why I said no, probably. It doesn't. I just got, I was confused. 63% of people don't keep bread in the refrigerator. <sighs> A little bit disappointed. I am a little bit disappointed, not gonna lie. It does take a lot of space in the refrigerator, I get it. Can I just call it fridge, but the fridge is the- it's freezer. But fridge is fridge. Fridge is the- the machine that combines the freezer and the refrigerator. Fridge? In any case, I, I'll just call it fridge. Doesn't matter. What is this dude? Let's take it. I'm French. Don't tell me you keep bread in refrigerator. I keep bread in refrigerator. I do. I don't think French people keep breads in the refrigerator. I don't think so. But I keep my bread in refrigerator. So what? What now? That's- that's a better way to keep the bread. In my opinion, that's a better way to keep the bread. I'll- I'll Google right now. Should you keep bread in the fridge? And the answer is the starch molecules in bread recrystallize uh, very quickly to cool- at cool temperatures and cause the bread to stale MUCH FASTER WHEN REFRIGERATED! No! No! <laughs> no! Shop-bought loaves should be kept in airtight plastic bag at room temperature rather than in the fridge. No! No! I got bamboozled! What? What's the best way to keep bread fresh? Uh... No! I'll still be keeping it in the refrigerator. Okay, what about the shop-bought loaves? Uh, should you keep... Uh, freshly baked bread in the fridge. It's probably... Why would you keep the freshly baked bread in the fridge? Makes no sense. Never keep your bread in the fridge. Yeah, it's always not advised to keep bread in the fridge. Okay, then I am disappointed. I'm disappointed, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely disappointed. You can't trust everything on Google, says Drafan. Yes, you can. I am trusting everything on Google. They said they spoke about molecules and the starch and everything. Like, what? Do you think they'll just make up those words? Bruh, it must be true. Starch, starch molecules recrystallize uh, faster at cool temperatures, which causes the bread to stale faster. That makes absolute sense. Why well, wouldn't I trust that information? Man's just got a reality check on bread. Well, what can I say? Google not trust it sometimes. I mean... Yeah, that's why I've done two searches and both of them told me to not keep the bread in the refrigerator. Maybe it makes sense. I keep my extra in the freezer. Freezer is a different thing. I guess. I've heard some people keep uh, bread in the freezer. Can you store bread in the freezer? 
Uh, freezing bread is one of the best ways to keep bread fresh. It allows you to keep bread for a long time while preserving its quality and texture. In fact, you may find that frozen bread that's been thawed tastes similar to fresh bread. You may want to freeze bread if you know you won't eat it all before it goes bad. Okay, so keeping the bread in the freezer is good, but I don't think it's bad like to, to rethaw bread. That you shouldn't like put it in the fridge, in the freezer, and and yeah, and then un unfreeze it and then put it in the freezer again. I don't think it's it's a good idea. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't freeze unfrozen things again. But to keep it so that it lasts longer, yeah, sure. I agree with it. Google agrees. I mean, and I agree with Google, so I agree with it. Killed the last bull. I don't even know where that dude is. Okay, there's the bull. Uh, where do you keep your chocolate? I keep it in the fridge because cold is so much better. No, I mean, I don't think it's even an a, even a question. Like, if... Why would you keep chocolate not in the fridge? Like, you keep chocolate in the fridge. Like, that's it. Maybe it's also personal preference. If you don't like hard chocolate, then maybe don't keep it there. But I like harder chocolate, so it stays in the fridge. Resident Evil 4 DLC is out. Yes, we might be playing it. Perhaps. So yeah, now we know, guys. Don't keep bread in the fridge. I'll still probably keep bread in the fridge. I don't know. Maybe I'll try not keeping it in the fridge. Perhaps. Perhaps. I don't know. Can't promise though. I am no it's not stuck. Yeah, I'm stuck in my old ways. Or whatever they say. Or I'm stuck to my old ways. In my old ways to my old ways. I don't know which one is the right one, but you got the point. Uh we've gotten the machete blueprint, but not the one that I need. No. Disgusting. And we've gotten the valuable survivor diary. We're gonna bring it because developers said something about perhaps adding more levels to the game. And yeah, I want it. I'll bring that stuff back to the base. Okay, let's skedaddle from here. Chocolate is in the freezer, not the refrigerator. Eh, debatable. The chocolate is gets plenty hard in the fridge. Like, why would you want to keep it in the ref refrigerator? But I mean, whatever tickles your pickle, I guess. Chocolate equals freezer, says Lila. Okay, that's not true. I mean, maybe it also probably depends on the chocolate. If you have a bar of chocolate and you keep it in the freezer, you take out that bar of chocolate, it'll be full of condensation, then it becomes wet. It becomes kind of probably sticky, like, why would you keep it there? But if you can just take out a little piece of that, say, Lila, says Matthew. I know, she said the chocolate belongs in the freezer, so I, instead of calling her Lila, I called her Lila. <laughs> it do be like that. How much to shave your beard, buddy, says Hiram. I'm not gonna shave my beard. Stop it. Stop touching my beard. It's like every bearded man... Bearded man, I just called myself a bearded man, that's just sad. Every person who has a beard has probably been asked at least once in their life, like, shave your beard? Why don't you shave it? But yeah. Uh, we need to drop the valuable survival diary here. Are you a coffee drinker? Says Nate. No, I don't drink coffee. I am. Uh, I don't know. I haven't checked my blood pressure in a long time. When I was, I don't know, maybe 14, 15, my doctor said that, hey, you have low blood pressure, drink coffee. That was literally the advice. And it did help because I also had a lot of headaches. Like when I was a kid, I had headaches every morning. And she said that, hey, drink coffee. And it helped me. But then when I stopped drinking coffee, I also had headaches. So. Luckily, I no longer have to drink coffee to not have headaches. So I don't drink it anymore. That's it. And Kenneth Augustin. Augustin. Augustin? Uh, Kenneth. 
I'll just say Kenneth. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not butchering Kenneth. Kenneth, Kenneth, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you for the supporting the live stream. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Um, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, we're gonna drop this thing here, the aluminum thing is whatever they call the uh, iron wires. Um, mm -mm -mm. Coffee, chocolate, what are you talking about? Um, let's go here. $500 to have a dinner with me. That's kind of creepy. What's for dinner, though? I'm kidding. I'm absolutely kidding! Or am I? Guys, I'm kidding. I need to drop the thing here. The... 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 The, the red... Coupons. Let's get that all. For the raid number two of the day, I guess. Okay, we need the fourth floor. Actually, we're just gonna do it like this. I should have probably cleared the fourth floor because that I need to progress in the season pass. Otherwise, I'll never progress. But I need to do another raid, right, guys? You want me to do a raid? So, hey, let's craft some hatchets. Two, three, four, and five. Oops, I tried to call the raiders again, but I haven't even done the raid yet. Yikes. Mm. What level in the season pass uh, are you now, says Jamie? Uh, level 71, so we need nine more levels. We still need to grind for a while. Like, it's still a lot. Like, that's like 100 and maybe 80 waves. Maybe that's like 200 waves in the PD. That's still a lot of grind. But we will do it perhaps one day. Whoops, that's the wrong hatchet. This raid better be better than the last one. I mean, it's pretty easy to be better than the last one. Just has to have loot. The other one didn't have anything. Okay, we need some wood. Uh, let's get a few stacks. Okay, and let's craft one more hatchet. There we go. If anyone on the internet wants to pay to have dinner with you, you are the main course, says Matthew. Yikes. Probably must agree. I do agree with you. Okay, let's get the two blocks. And let's go for the raid number. Wait, didn't the season only just start? I mean, the season lasts for like, what? 12 days or something? <laughs> so, I mean, it's easy for it to end quickly. It does end quickly. Um, the brain is working at full capacity? No, not at full. Yes, at full. Katana goes here. There we go. This one. And this, this, and this. Wait, the season is only 12 days? What? It's a joke. The season lasts for 21 days. It doesn't even last a full month. So it lasts for only three weeks. So that's why it looks like the season uh, ends very quickly. Because, I mean, it still lasts for six more days when you think about it. We still have the third of the season ahead of us. But 
Yeah, it's only six days. So it's like a joke. They're over-exaggerated it a bit, but it's still... Joke, yeah. Yeah. So let's go for... For the raid number two of the day. Go for the raid. Let's roll, ladies and gents. How do you level up fast in the season? By killing as many zombies as possible. That's it. Bunker Alpha is a nice way to level up fast in the season pass. <sighs> Lewis! We're gonna raid a base named Lewis. Okay. Lewis, 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 Lewis. Lewis is from somewhere. Lewis is from Family Guy, no? It's like, have you watched Family Guy? No, but I've seen so many snippets of Family Guy that I feel like I have seen all of it. LDE Raid Lewis. Hey, Lewis. Oh, Lewis is the his wife. No, Lewis, that's her. Probably. I don't know. In any case. Um... Okay, I see where we can go, ladies and gentlemen. I think I know what I'll open up. That's it. I'll go from there. That is it. I'm ready to raid Lewis. It's like, what would you take from the very rare supply? Per, uh, from the very rare supply crate? Purple card or five carbon composites? Purple card is probably better, but it depends how desperately you need those carbon composites. But I'd probably take the purple card. Purple card is better. Lewis Low is Lewis Low. I don't know who is Lewis Low. Let's drop a C4 and let's raid it. Let's raid the base. It has only two chests. Only two chest ladies and gentlemen. Has the supply event uh, supply event started? Yes, guys, the supply event has started. It has begun. I needed some of these thick fabrics, and hey, we got them. So I guess this raid is not completely useless. Right, we did get this. I'm gonna store some stuff in the chopper. Maybe I'll explode one more wall, as we can get more chests inside of those other walls, but... I don't know what if the loot is good, but I'll go for it. Tips for the supply event: kill as many zombies as possible. Bunker Alpha. Um. All right, I'll get perhaps this and this. Why not? I'll get even this. All righty, let's get a C4 now. Just one. Just one, and I'll place it here. Bunker Bravo is all right for supply as well, since the event is active. Yeah, also that. Also that. Bloater, bloater is dead. What's the background music? It's Mayan Ritual by Jimena Contreras from YouTube Library. We got some stones. I don't even know if I want to bring them back to the base. It's fine. I'll just leave them there. Fiberglass. We have a lot of fiberglass at the base. So there's that. And I'll get the... Actually, we already have a lot of planks. I mean, I'll take like three, four stacks, but if they don't fit, they don't fit. Okay, let's skedaddle from this raid, ladies and gentlemen. Does it get Sykes approval? I needed thick cloth and I got it, so let's give it at least 3 out of 10. And 3 out of 10 is Sykes approval, so this base gets Sykes approval. There's that. There's 
Because I have a real question to you right now, like a personal question. It's like, ask me, shoot. Did you smash the like button on this live stream yet? Hmm? Did you? If you haven't smashed it yet, then do it. And as somebody today said in the chat, it's not, it's not a question. It's an order. Thank you guys. I see yes is in the chat. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thanks for smashing the likes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Grim says that was me. Yeah, I mean, I know that it was you, but if I say that Grim told us, people won't know who is Grim. But if I say someone, they'll understand the thing. But yes, Grim, it was you that told me uh, that you ordered something and not asked for something. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, let's drop the... the gasolinium. The gasolinium goes here. This goes... I don't know where I keep my nails anymore. They're on your fingers! No, I mean nails in the game, like the, the, met the iron nails. Not those other nails. The goofballs. Okay, let's drop the... Thick leather. I'll drop that here. Have you watched the movie Green Book? Never heard of it. I don't have a slightest clue what's it about. I mean, I do have a clue. Wait, I'm lying. I do have a clue what that Green Book movie is about. It's about a green book. Am I right? Probably I am. Probably that book is about a green book. Yes. Same thing like Star Wars. I've never seen Star Wars. But I can bloody tell you what that Star Wars is about. It's about wars in the stars. You see? Have you played Terraria? Yes, I made a video on Terraria once. Wrong, it's about a red book. Nah, 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 you're just lying to me. If the movie's called Green Book, it's about a green book, not about a red book. If it was about a red book, it would be called Red Book, right? Wouldn't it? Now, guys, we have something interesting to do. Something important. More important than last year. Yes. I uh, just need to uh, get it. Um, there we go. This... There we go, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to GeoGuessr, a place where we can touch virtual gla uh, grass. Oh, that's it, we're beginning. We're beginning, ladies and gentlemen. Judging by the grass, we are in Europe. Junction on Bend, okay, we're not in Europe. It's probably England, ladies and gentlemen. It's the... It's the common English grass, you can see it by the texture. Uh, technically, I also feel, not technically, but I also believe it might be Ireland. Feels more like Ireland than, than anything. Kilkey. R487, do they have that? Well, excuse me. Uh, I'm just probably gonna go here. Okay, I'm on the second spot. It's probably Ireland. That's why I went like kind of higher there. Yeah, it was Ireland, ladies and gentlemen. It was Ireland. <sighs> I told you. 
So it is it is good enough, guys, right? I went closer there to Ireland. I said that it's Ireland, so I count it as a lowercase w. Okay. E. What does E mean? Nafaxia Marala. Umbrekue des Marmenkue. What does that mean? I don't know. My apple. Okay. Uh. Our dollar, uh, our dollars, what can be with our dollars? There's no way it's in Romania here. With R and dollars, it's somewhere in uh, Sao Jose. Oh my goodness. I'm so lost. It's like in, I'm going to go Mexico, but it's probably not. It's probably not. Don't get, don't knock me out. It's probably not Mexico. It's, it was in Brazil. But dollar sign in Brazil? What kind of currency they have in Brazil then? Well... Okay. At least I didn't get knocked out and that's good enough. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we are driving on the left side. Wait, aren't we in the same place again? Aren't we in Ireland again here? Clockwise technologies. I've seen this owl before in Ireland already. Probably, unless I'm dreaming about it. Open as usual on B, whatever. Okay, is it Ireland? I'm probably gonna go for it. It might be England. It looks... I haven't seen any weird words. So... Might be... Oh my goodness. Let's just go again, Ireland. I'm on the first spot, ladies and gentlemen. It must be Ireland. It was... Whoa, it was Scotland. Potato, patata. We're doing it. Probably offended everybody in Scotland, Ireland, and UK at the same time. I apologize. I'm just kidding. Um, Joe Gesser doesn't often give Scotland. I think it's my second time that I got Scotland. Um, I don't have a clue. That was a lot of trash behind us. Okay. Ohio then? Uh, wait, is it French? There's no way it's friends. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go here-ish. Probably was friends though. It was, it was Belgium. Whew! It did feel like something from there, but okay. Have you ever been to Asia in this game? Many times. There we go. We are now in Asia, probably. Best flower and maze. So I'm going to assume that it's in Africa then, not in Asia. Wow. Excuse me. Oh, where is the sun? Okay, the sun is in the north. Okay, we are in the south. Uh, south Africa. Probably. Yeah, let's go not here then I don't know where else can it be I'm gonna wait till the last second there we go I didn't get knocked out ladies and gentlemen it was not South uh, South Africa sorry it was in 
Uganda, okay. Uganda, Uganda, I don't know how do you pronounce that, but I... Lowercase W. At least I guessed that it's Africa. Okay. A lot of snow. Can be literally anywhere. Oh my goodness, just go. It literally can be anywhere. It can be Norway, it can be in Lithuania, it can be Poland, probably. I don't know, dude. It can be anywhere. I haven't seen a single single text. I'm going the other way. Perhaps I'll find something better. Oh lord. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna go here. Closer because I'm not sure. I'm on the first spot, ladies and gentlemen. And it was all the way here in Bulgaria. Okay. Bulgaria, Bulgaria. <sighs> At least these noobs show something else. Okay. <laughs> Greenland! Just because it had snow, so they went to Greenland. And this dude went to the... Uh, what? I'm not even gonna question that. Okay, now 1v1. Minutes in US, probably. Satisfaction guaranteed. Walmart! Dude, of course it's US! Walmart and McDonald's? All in one? I've never seen that before. Alright, where are we though? Um... Boston pizza, but again, I mean, I know where is Boston. It's around here somewhere. It's east, somewhere east, but where's Boston? Bruh, Philadelphia, Washington, but again, Boston pizza could probably be anywhere. I don't see where's Boston, dude. We have eight seconds. I know Boston is here. Oh my goodness. It's not Boston. I'm gonna go... You were knocked out. Oh no, it was all the way in Canada. No. Of course, just because it's Boston pizza doesn't mean that it's Boston pizza. I knew it, but I mean, it was the closest clue. Tim Hortons, uh, Tim Hortons is in Pennsylvania. Well, it was here in U in Canada. I would have never guessed it. Where is uh, Boston though? I need to find it now. No, Boston is just a chain. Yeah, I mean, it's it was probably just a chain. But I mean, I had nothing else to... I had no information, so I might have as well just chosen Boston. Select East Coast. This is the East Coast. Can't find Boston. Oh, there we go. There it is. It's in Massachusetts. Okay. I see it. I was close, guys. I told you that it's around there. In any case... Let's buckle up, buckaroos. Time to skedaddle. Bump the sweet music track, says Matthew Spellman. Yes, indeed, I'm bumping it right now. So thanks, guys, for joining here. At least I got the second spot. Guess better than nothing. Good job, buddy, says the A. Thank you. Boston is where my peeps come from. Very nice. Very nice. Like, what should it get to? Steel plates or three carbon composites or three electronic circuits? Depends what you want. If you want electronic circuits, you should get electronic circuits. If you feel like getting three carbon composites is better, then you should get three carbon composites. Two steel plates is probably not worth it for either of them. Actually. If you have already a lot of electronic circuits, just then just get carbon composites. I'd probably get carbon composites. Yeah. E either, unless you, like, really need electronic circuits, but I'd probably get carbon composites. So... Thanks, everybody, for joining here. See you later, everybody. Take care. Have an amazing uh, end of your day or beginning of your day, depending where you, where you live. And take care, everybody. See you later. See you tomorrow with another video or a live stream. Take care, buddies. Buddies. <laughs> take care, buddies. And see you later, everybody. Take care. Shout out to all of you and take care, guys. Take care, take care. Don't keep your bread in the, in the fridge and don't keep your batteries in the fridge. Yeah.